You can start talking. Okay. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome. I'm here a couple minutes early. Uh, I've kind of learned over the years that uh, it just reduces questions if you get here just a minute or two early. So super, super excited today because today is the, the uh, opening of the 2021 Art to Life International Exhibition. Uh, um, and this is a huge project. <laughs> it gets bigger every year. And I never knew, I, you know, I've entered a lot of shows and it's always kind of some work to do that. But being on the other end of it, when all those entries come in, uh, it, it is a huge thing. So this is a giant team effort. And I just want to thank my team um, so much for helping put this on. Um, I want to bring up uh, Terry Froelich, who's on my team. And Terry's been in charge of this and is really one of the masterminds behind this exhibition. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, OK, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so um, Terry, uh, how you doing? Good. Ferris, how are just, you? Ferris just told me, like, slow down, dude, because <laughs> it's not even noon yet. <laughs> I've, I've had a couple cups of coffee and there's so many things to do today to get ready for this, but it just feels really awesome that we're here. It's a really, really special day. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. I feel the same way. I've had a lot of coffee <laughs> and we've been going at this really early since really early this morning and for a long time now to pull this all together. So yeah, I'm feeling good. I feel like this is just a really um, celebratory moment for us, you know, to get to this point. Definitely. Yeah, the, 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 whole, the whole thing and what, you know, each year we've put this on, this is our third time. And what we're doing is, you know, we're, we're creating an exhibition, but we're also creating a, it's an opportunity. And I hope that you guys who are here on the call um, are going to learn some things because that's the whole point. Um, we don't need to do all this backstory stuff, you know, and, but we're really into it and our jurors really into it. This is about helping artists get clarity about what their best work is and what lights them up and, and how to enter shows and how to get your work out there and how to evaluate it. And this is a really, it's a challenging thing to enter exhibitions. It takes some, um, it takes some bravery. Uh, there's often, uh, most of the time you don't get in, uh, but sometimes you do. All of it is a huge learning opportunity. And I hope today that you're gonna come away regardless of whether you're in this exhibition or just looking on the outside, or like most of you, you're here as art buyers, collectors, because we're all in one pool together. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's great. So that's what we're kind of, that's what we're after today. And uh, there's a lot of people on this call and um, we've been promoting it and talking about it and building this up, but that's our goal here. And that's why we're going to spend some time um, diving into this. And I'm going to, I, I had some aha moments when I'm doing this show um, and being involved in it and being in the room. We traveled to Santa Fe. We were, we, you know, we're in the same space as Juan. He took a bunch of days to, to curate this. But what, um, Terry, what was some of the, what, was, what have you learned this time that we wish we had known? Or where, what have you, what's the takeaway for you as an artist and as also a, an organizer? Yeah, well, as an artist, you know, just how, you know, brave you have to be to enter show after show after show, not knowing, you know, what the outcome is going to be. So like just seeing everybody who entered and the, the, lar the amazing amount of work that was there. And I think for me, it was just the team effort it took. These are not easy things to pull off. This is not just like, oh, let's do an art exhibition. This is a huge, <laughs> <laughs> huge undertaking. So um, I always, I think I learned that every year. <laughs> So again, um, but I also loved the process with Juan, just like he really studied everything and he really um, took his time. I mean, it was pretty much two full days and then it went on from there. And just that like distillation process and just that, you know, just the narrowing down and kind of like we talk about, like sometimes the cream rises to the top, you know, like, and that's kind of what you see in this process. And I think it's really I just feel so honored to be a part to see that because, you know, as many shows as I enter, you always wonder like, oh, I send my work in and how does that all work? And how, how do they, 
see and feel and do and oh, you know you're just wonder you're so curious and I think what I learned too was that Juan was so um he was so detail oriented and like what he wrote up about the show and his process is just such a learning opportunity for everybody so for me that's what I took away it was just really a, a magnificent experience how about you yeah yeah well my my sort of it reminded me of painting it reminded me of doing my own art in a way because I don't know for the artists there and for, you know, who are on this call um, or anyone who makes things, you know, when you make it right away, you sometimes can't tell how, if it's good or not. And then, but then you show up the next day and you look at it and, and you start to realize, you know, this is pretty good or that part's really good. And, but there's this, there's this discernment that takes some time. And I, I was surprised and I'm just used to that. You know, I, I'm not always objective, but in looking at over the shoulder and just seeing all the work, visiting it every day, you know, watching Juan look through it and the strong work stand, stands, starts to emerge and it, and it becomes more clear over time. It was just, but in the beginning, it's not, it's just like, okay, what? Oh my God, there's so much here. And this is the cool takeaway for me is that, it doesn't matter the style of work. It doesn't matter the, you know, the color, any of that. It's about this strong vision, this, this, this energy thing that an artist is chasing down, this personal vision of what lights them up. And that comes through. And that sometimes hard, it just comes through. And sometimes it takes a little longer to look at it and feel it. But that's just something that, again, you know, this isn't just a random thing. This is about powerful um, personal vision that comes through and it takes time to develop that in our work. And that's what this show in my mind is really celebrating that. Um, I just want to give a couple of shout outs. Um, we've got, you know, Kim Payne on this from Calgary, um, Angie from Germany, uh, hi Mary, uh, Mimi from Lancaster, um, folks from India all over the world here. It's so cool. Um, so, uh, okay, great. So, um, I'm going to now, uh, I'm let me just, let me just talk about our juror because every year this is just, we get to know our jurors really well. Um, I didn't know Juan Kelly, um, personally, and, and this is a challenging thing to ask somebody <laughs> who doesn't know you to do this kind of work, to do this big favor. And, but I knew his aesthetic. I've known his art. Juan has been, has been an artist for over 40 years. Um, he's, uh, also the, um, the owner and, and the kind of primary curator of New Art Gallery in Santa Fe. And he's been doing that for about 20 years. And that's how I have known of him. I know his aesthetic. And when I go to Santa Fe, in my opinion, it's one of the top galleries there. And it has to do with his sensibilities. Um, you know, it's, it's powerful to see it in different work. So that's that was my dream. And when Terry and I were talking, I said, you know who I think would just be amazing. I don't know him. It was the first choice, the most like hit it out of the park would be Juan Kelly. I sent him an email <laughs> and he said, yes, which is amazing. And I just, uh, I just want to right here, right now, thank him for doing this work. This is a huge undertaking and it's going to impact and benefit so, so many of us. Um, and the exhibition's amazing. And I know you haven't seen it. We're going to be turning that on later in the call once we announce the award winners. So we'll be getting to that. But we, I first want to bring on Juan Kelly, uh, the juror for this year, 2021, the, our art exhibition. Juan, can you uh, turn your camera on? Hi. Hi, guys. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, thanks. thanks for all those nice things that you said about me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, really, I mean, to say yes to something, what, why, why did you say yes to this? I mean, what, what was it about doing this that was, was a yes for you? Well, at, at first, I, it was quite a surprise because I wasn't expecting it. And when I looked into what you guys were doing, I had seen your work before, by the way, and I uh, uh, really liked the work and I can remember exactly when I saw your work, which I thought, wow, 
So, so getting the call from you guys, I thought, okay, cool. And then I saw that, I saw the project and I thought, this is incredible. This is just amazing. This is, this is what is needed. This is the type of thing that, that artists um, around the world, artists that are started out need their, their, their schools, their all of this, but I don't find that um, so much, uh, so much material that, that, that is fundamentally important that, that I see that people are getting in a, in a, uh, in a easy, accessible way. And, and this, uh, I just thought it was just incredible. And I was like, wow, these guys are doing this. I'm, I'm definitely going to put my head out there and go for it. This is, this is uh, very important. That's so to, cool. Not to be part of it. So yeah, and you know, yeah. So 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 yeah. Um, now being a juror is something a little bit kind of a difficult thing to do, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> because okay, uh, there's so many people and uh, and yeah, there are few that are going to be happy, but then there are going to be so many that are not. And uh, how do you deal with that? How do you do? Okay. I thought, okay, no, no big deal. This is, this is what you do is, uh, I'm going to be doing what, uh, I'm going to be representing those people that I didn't like <laughs> the jurors. I never liked them. Right. <laughs> yeah, <you're> right. <laughs> but, but it's very important. And I wanted to make sure that I said exactly the reason and, and, and the view of it and of, of everything and try to keep it as transparent as, as possible. Uh, I come to this with a lot of uh, biases, you know, and I made sure I tried to clarify that in, in what I wrote. Yeah, we had a, I remember we had a really exciting conversation in the gallery. Uh, it was a little bit about, you know, how you, um, how you select art, what, what, what moves you to say yes to something. And of course, everyone on this call, of course, this is, this is unique to everybody, but I'm just curious in an overview, like what moves you to say yes to something? What, what makes you say yes? Well, um, as, as you know, if you see uh, from seeing the gallery, there is a different type of work, all kinds of work, but there's only uh, for me, there's only one thing that matters is, is the way how it works, the, the view of it, and then the message that, that it brings through. Now, the um, first, uh, at least for the gallery, it, I'm looking for excellence. I'm looking for artists that have developed each what they do to, to the max that they can do it. That is what that is what's the most important thing. Now, um, how they deal with, with, with each of those elements that of their own work, and is it consistent with what they're trying to say? Um, so that's, that's kind of the, the nuts and bolts of that. Um, but basically, for me, as I said in the thing, all work is abstract. You, uh, it's about shapes, forms, it's about the composition, it's about these things. Uh, you can have, uh, uh, there, there are some work that have amazing, um, amazing ideas and amazing things. And, and it pains me that, that they didn't make it, but it's more, it, it, it needed some more work in it. And that's just the idea, but the idea has to have a body and that body needs to be consistent with the idea. To yeah. Make. Yeah. I get that. It's like, it's really about potency. You know, um, when you look at something, that's just some things are, you know, everything's working, everything's rowing in the same direction. The idea or the color is supporting that idea. There's a cohesion about this that I was happy to, sort of that's how i think about it but it really really showed up when i looked at the the, war, the work that you've selected um it's strong you know strong work has that cohesion nothing's added that's unnecessary you know thank you yes yes 
Yes. Yeah. That, that, that's important. Uh, nothing should be added uh, that is not. That is yeah. Not and, and this, you know, obviously, you know, artists don't get in. Some people don't get in. And how did you, how do you frame it? Like how I frame it is, you know, this is, this is an invitation to progress your work, whether you get in or not, and to, and to think about it and submit it. There's some benefits fits that that occur but how do you you know you i know that you've worked with artists that showed you their work in the beginning and they weren't developed and then they came back later and now they're in your gallery or you know like it's this journey people are on right i mean how do you how do you encourage those who who didn't get in i guess or you know what are your thoughts about that it, it's a process i was actually very very um very happy with the with the level that of of all the 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 people participating in it. I was actually very surprised because uh, yes, I look at a lot of work and 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 to be honest, over the last years I haven't looked at too much work. Uh, I have others look at it first because because it pains me quite a bit when. It, each artist that present their work, I feel like it's me. And, and then if I see things that are not working or it's going to take them too much time or they are actually going through on the wrong, the wrong ideas of things, uh, and, and what are the wrong ideas? Uh, again, remember, I'm opinionated. Um, wrong ideas is to think that because I'm an artist, everything that I do is okay, it's fine. That is a bad idea. That's not, you, you really need to pull back and learn from what you're doing and learn from the understanding of what, uh, of, 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 of how you're communicating because art is a communication. Otherwise, if it's not a communication, then you don't show it. Just, uh, keep it at home. But if you're going to show it, <laughs> you're communicating what you are doing with others. And there need to be a connection. There need to be an understanding. You need to be able to speak the language, some language, any language. You invent <laughs> the language, okay, yeah. fine. But your language better be consistent and, and others uh, have to be able to understand the language. And how do you do that? So if you don't have those feedbacks, if you don't react to these things, then you don't you're not able to you're not able to to do that much so yeah you're an artist yeah everybody is uh, i mean uh, i'm great whatever that's that's nothing that doesn't do anything <laughs> yeah so, yeah it's it's really it is it is interesting to frame it that way that that this is a conversation this is a communication and the maker of the work it is useful to sometimes get a perspective out side of yourself to rise above it and have somebody look at it and say you know what i feel when i look at this work is this and so of course it's all subjective but often i can see there's it's not just completely random at all you know and i think today we're going to be celebrating and looking at some work that is doing exactly what you're talking about that is that's powerful that's strong and um i think we're kind of going to move right into that um uh, so how this is going to work, you guys, we're going to be showing, um, we're going to start with the honorable mentions. Uh, there were three of them. Now, first of all, let me let you know that Juan uh, decided he wanted to, he had, uh, he wanted to have three honorable mentions. So we have a, a first place, a second place, a third place, and we have the honorable mentions. So we'll be going through the honorable mentions first. And when all the artists are here, by the way, so I'll be turning on the camera. We'll be having a quick conversation. I'll be showing you the work. And then once we finished announcing the award winners, um, we have a very, very special thing that, uh, that just occurred that um, it's going to be quite extraordinary. Um, it has to do with the, the uh, the award winners. Um, so please hang on for that. And then at the end of that, we will be turning on the exhibition, the whole exhibition. And there's for, for everyone to see the website will go live, hopefully, and uh, you guys will be able to see it. Um, and, and we will, and for those of you who are on this call, who are interested in purchasing this work, um, there are um, contact information for the artists. We we don't facilitate that. You have to reach out to the artist um, right away. And I would suggest doing that because this this work has been promoted and this is um, 
you know, the first opportunity to possibly acquire some of this work. So that being said, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to look at the first honorable mention. By the way, these artists don't know what award they they're all here, but they don't know. It's kind of like the Academy Award winner. So let me um, share my screen here. Um, OK, and let me get this here. OK, okay. all right. So the the honorable mention, this is the third place honorable mention of it. There's a place we kind of had it. You want to want to this order. Um, this is uh, Cheryl uh, Siddiqui. Um, Cheryl, can you turn your camera on? And your microphone. Hi there. <laughs> Hi. Listen, congratulations. Thank you very much. And thank you, Juan. <laughs> thank you very much for taking all the time, time and care that you did in the jurying process. And, and let me just mention, you guys, this these handful of, of work, this handful of artists have been selected from over 1,500 artists. I mean, it's pretty damn extraordinary. So this is a huge honor. Um, so Cheryl, can you just give us a, a just Tell us about this piece a little bit. This is obviously mixed media. I think everyone can see that. Um, yes, it's actually a two piece. And what I did is I actually, um, it's part of a series and I actually did them all at the same time. So um, the whole point of the entire series was to not be over conceptualized. It was all about that gestural that large gestural um, blue, um, that fallow blue wide brush mark. And I wanted to not be overthinking. I'm wanting to pare back and just be about the, um, the, intuition, the intuition about painting and the impulse and really rely on that and not be um, moving towards the overthinking part of painting, which is what I mm -hmm. think we often move into and before i actually started the painting part of all of the paint all of the canvases i wrote um lengthy words on all of the canvases without worrying whether i was going to cover them up later so mm -hmm. it was thoughts feelings sentences um mm -hmm. all about intuition and emotion and definitely pairing back i did not want to have my brain get involved basically <laughs> so so juan what was what what hit you about cheryl's work here what what moved you about this just the sheer power of it the 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 lines the the, the, the it's just it's just saying here i am i'm alive uh mm -hmm. that's kind of the feeling that i get from it uh, and 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 then uh, from a compositional um, um, perspective, um, everything, all the lines are are supporting each other. There are lots of these small lines. They're working together. Uh, there is there is uh, the different color of them are working together, and and it's just very powerful, very yeah, powerful and clear. Thank you yeah, very much. Gorgeous. Thank you very much. Yeah, I love that all the the encryption, the small writing in there, and just the different headspace where of you know being kind of detaily and then being really bold and just you just can feel that there's so much space in this. It's just so exciting to look at. Um, yeah. Well, awesome, Cheryl. Listen, thank you so much, and um, I really again appreciate. Thank you, you very much. It's really been. This so exciting for me <laughs> and wonderful to um be a part of a show like this really yeah wonderful awesome okay so our ne next uh, honorable mention uh if mandy herwitz can turn on her camera i'm gonna hopefully this is gonna she's there she's here oh yeah okay for some reason my just gotta be patient with them when you tap hey out. mandy Hi there. I'm just waiting for this for your painting to show up here. There we go. Mandy, congratulations. Uh, again, a huge, uh, huge honor to uh, be of the tiny fraction of people that, um, you know, that were, that were selected for this. Can you just give us a little background as, as, as to this? 
seriously, this piece, I so nearly never sent it in because during CVP, when we were talking about getting personal, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm always personal. You know, I always come from the heart. <laughs> That's how I work. But this piece. So, so let me just interrupt for a second. So mm -hmm. CVP, for those of you guys who don't know, that's Art to Life's creative visionary program. It's a three-month program for artists. It happens in the spring. And our, is this, you did this piece during the program? Almost three quarters of the way through, I was really wow. okay. laboring this panel, which is, you okay. know, I was thinking, oh, it's a 12 by 12. And then I really, I was like a dog with a bone with this thing. I just kept working it. And at the same time, I was doing um, an inner child workshop, sort of really delving into the shadows and uh, the aspects. <laughs> and this started to happen on, on, on my painting. And I was thinking, is this like completely corny? Do I go with it? I was like completely terrified for a while of this thing. And then I didn't want to show it to anyone. Uh, and I just kept working on it. And it was just, it was almost like a therapy session. I met this inner distractor magician who's been distracting me for 10 years, <laughs> throwing, he was exhausted. We've made peace with each other. We've, I've like retired him to a, a resort somewhere in the etheric realm. He's really, it's, it was just a really, like something really personal happened. I think for me, the first time really in, in my work where I took it further than I would normally have felt comfortable to do and it was also really doggedly working the surface and uh, I lost it and gained it a million times um, but there was this thing it made me giddy it gave me the like oh my god can I show uh, this uh, to anyone yeah. so and that yeah. was when you spoke about so, choosing what you what you what you send in so what made me decide to send this mm. one mm. Mm, yeah. And Juan, what did you, uh, what, what, what was up for you on this? Well, I'm always going, uh, looking at, um, of, of how the artist is, 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 uh, is working, uh, their space, uh, the organization, how I'm able to look at it, how I'm able to, to, uh, to take in each part of the whole thing and hopefully all of that in its own time. Um, I really like the, the translucent uh, nature of some of the colors and the form. I like the, the compositionally, it's very, it's solid. Um, there is this element, this translucent thing that gives a, a feeling of time and mm, and and, yeah. and that and that that thing um, between the dark side elements and the depth, there is there is there is all of these uh, very magical feeling to it. It feels like it transports you in time. It it has. I actually. It, I actually get this oriental feeling to it. So I was uh, surprised <laughs> when I saw you. I thought, I thought it was someone oriental doing it. And seriously, that is kind of why I was like, oh, can I own this? <laughs> this is like coming up. <laughs> it, it's so rich, you know, and, and when I look at this, it, there's just such density and there's so many cool places to go. It feels like it's just, just amazing. Yes. Really. Mandy, thank you so much um, for going for it. And uh, congratulations again. This is uh, wonderful, especially, you know, that you work so hard on it. And it was like, it's often those pieces that were, you know, unsure about that have these huge possibilities for us. So congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Really, it's been awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, and letting, uh, by the way, a lot of comments coming through. Uh, Stephanie saying it's spacious. Um, Kim Beyer, uh, you know, talking about the magic. Jonathan Hoskins saying there's going to be a bidding war for this one. So uh, anyway, congratulations. And uh, OK, so our next uh, next uh, honorable mention first honorable mention is Don Rogers. Uh, Don, if you can turn your camera on, we'd love to talk to you. Well, thank you all for this. I really appreciate it and highly honored. 
So cool, so cool. So tell us a little bit about this picture. It says mixed media. Um, it's uh, 11 by eight. Tell, what, tell us about this. Well, um, I can really relate to what you always say, Mr. Wilton. <clears throat> um, you come back to it and you suddenly see something or suddenly you yeah. don't see something. So this is one of those ones that I started and had a lot of um, positive feelings. But at the end of the day, I was kind of like, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Um, and probably a few days later, I came back, said, you know, I think there's something there. But if I make some adjustments and everything, uh, I think it might turn out. And I think when I was working on it, I started to think about ideas and um, the whole idea of thinking and planning, but not trying to plan, not trying to work at it too, you know, obviously. And so it just brought to mind all the inner thoughts that, that goes on when we're making artwork. Uh, I think in my description, I called it kind of like playing and um, putting together a puzzle, so to speak. So uh -huh. that, I, that's it. And um, yeah, it's got so Juan, what, 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 go ahead. what, uh, what did you see here, Juan? What, what moved you about uh, Don's piece? Yeah, I, I'm curious about something. Did you spend some time in Latin America? South America? Uh, yes. In Latin I America. visited uh, Costa Rica for a while, but. <laughs> uh -huh. It's very magical, very, very magical. And, and again, it's, it's uh, first to pass, um, the first door is the composition. It has to be solid, very solid composition. And, and, but you know, every composition is solid for different reasons, different way. Um, the way how you have all the, these elements, the dark elements and, and these things going through, it's, it's almost like, it kind of feel like a boat in some ways, carrying all these goods all these magical goods mm. somewhere that's what i'm feeling but more how you're linking and moving through your dark space and your lighter space that is that is 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 very nice and and all the little elements and little things that are happening there but they're all happening and they're all supporting each other and um and it's it, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's it's actually uh, I I I love this piece. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, really, really, really great. One quick question, Don. This is a relatively small piece. Have you do you make larger work? No, I haven't gotten up to bigger pieces. I'm actually came from a background of um, commercial illustration, so I typically work kind of small. And uh, that's been kind of a challenge for me, kind of making this transition. I think when I retired from teaching, I had the idea that I wanted to go back to my earlier days, kind of fine arts days. And, and I always loved the cubist and the value patterns. And that mm -hmm. was really interest me. And I, I like mixing it up. Um, this is yeah. stamps and collage and, uh, and some printmaking, but you can't really see it now. <laughs> Well, listen, you know, you're, you're, this is a small work, but small work can feel um, really, really big. And, and this is doing that. And I'm just, I'm excited to see your larger work when it comes, because this is amazing. And it, I'm, I'm surprised that it was 11 inches by eight, eight inches. And we had a couple of comments like that, but regardless, Don, this is, um, yeah, yeah, right. Um, Don, thank you so much uh, for participating, for taking the time to be here, sharing your work, and congratulations. Thank you all. It's a wonderful opportunity. Okay, so um, this is this is the third place winner, um, Beverly uh, Kedzior. Um, can you turn your camera on? This is we're now in the um, the top three places here this is getting we can rarer. see rarer yeah we're this is getting uh more more rare more extraordinary as we go through this so this is the third place um there's a pretty significant cash prize to this but more than that this is a um a just an extraordinary uh thing that you you've pulled this off so i wanted to thank congratulate you beverly tell us about this piece 
Uh, is my video on? I didn't think I tried. Yeah, you're yes, good. we you're can good. totally hear you. Right. Yeah, it looks good. Well, first of all, thanks for the opportunity, uh, both for, uh, especially to you, Nick, and thank you, Juan, for choosing my piece. Okay, I, I think of my work, most of it, um, as uh, sort of snapshots of outer space, sort of like uh, if George Jetson was sitting on his patio and looking out to what he would see. Um, and my studio is a huge mess of, um, I, I won't even turn the camera around, but it's a huge mess of children's books, uh, magazines, uh, wood veneers, um, uh, all kinds of um, uh, uh, my own collage uh, papers. And, and most of my work is done with sort of a um, uh, printmaking techniques. So uh, I do a lot of masking and then pulling the paper, the uh, paint through so that I can get some really nice uh, textures and then clean edges at the same time. <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. uh, this one actually has uh, the name of it is Creaky Dark, and that black image that's in the center is a page uh, or several pages from the book, a children's book that was called Creaky Dark. And then on the right hand side, there's also uh, like the black, the three, um, mm -hmm. three bumps. That's also a bunch of. Um, old images I had like from 1930s or 40s, there were illustrations and I tore those up and then pasted those down. Um, two, the two on the bottom, uh, the one with the bear, I don't know if you can see that, but that's that's a book cover. Uh, the one on the very bottom wow. is a book cover. And then there's um, a piece of fabric, which is the polka dots and wood veneers. And it's, it's, so, it's so cool. It's so cool. This is like a sampling of your, you know, all these different, like different elements you're bringing together. Uh, we're getting some, you know, people are loving this face saying this is amazing, uh, has a mid uh, century feel. Um, Juan, what did you, what did, what was your hit on this? Um, what, I mean, it's so interesting and so different. What was your, the, uh, what drew you to this piece? The amount, the consistency, the incredible consistency that you have here, Beverly, is just amazing. It is, you are able to say, uh, you have a whole world here. Uh, all the shapes are the, on the background and everything seems like they come, have the same DNA. They can mm. go, and you can say anything you want. Uh, you can, you can, uh, you can write poetry with this. You can, you can uh, write a horror movie, a horror story, whatever <laughs> it is you want. You can say it with these forms and it's complete. The world is complete and the way how you arrange these things will do whatever you want. And Thank that you. is, that is the, the, amazing, uh, the amazing part of it, consistency. Everything and they're supporting each other and they're doing things. Yes, it's doing it in ways that are not conventional and a little bit um different around but it's it re it's resolving itself it's resolved the issues that it would have like in uh, as i mentioned uh when you are composing something with with round shapes it's it's very difficult to have that round if everything is round and moving it's very difficult for it to to be uh for you to really like that for it to feel good to taste good it's difficult uh, because you kind of need uh, uh, the opposites. You need lines so you can show off curves and things like that. This doesn't have that, but it does it in other ways. And I wrote mm -hmm. some of that in in the, in the review of it. Yeah, it's just it's Thank so you. it's so amazing, um, fantastic, Beverly. Um, so again, congratulations. Thank you for being here. Now, um, we're going to, we're going to, uh, I'm about to turn the page here and announce the second place, which will uh, let the two artists that are waiting in the green room know one of them has got second, which is extraordinary. And one of them's got first place. So this is uh, the moment of truth here. Um, so uh, um, if, um, let me just turn this screen here. So for second place, um, 
we have Brout Brawls. Uh, Brout, can you turn your camera on? He's coming on. He's in the room. Brout, if you just uh, hit that little camera icon, uh, just like we practice at the beginning of the of the call here. Maybe Nick. Um, well, what want... I love, what I love about just looking at Brout's wall while he's coming on, and I think you guys see this. You know, notice how different this work is. Look at how different all of it is and how Juan is selecting. He's not, it's not a style he's selecting. It's a potency he's, and it doesn't matter the kind of work. Brawl, thanks for being here. Can you hear me? He can hear us. He just needs to uh, unmute. Yeah, just unmute your microphone. Yeah, just a little, the little microphone icon. It's right next to the camera icon. You just have to tap that. And, uh, it's down in the lower left of the screen, little microphone. Yeah. Yep. Like when you tap your screen, do you see some icons appear? The little oh, microphone so down there. There we are. Okay. So you can hear me? We can. Yeah. Yes. This thing? Yes. Congratulations, Brow. This is well, just amazing. Well, thank you so much, Juan. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Amazing work. So you, tell us about this, Brow. Tell us about tell us about this painting. Well, it was one of those things. I've never done anything as big as this one. This is forty-two by forty-two inches, and I thought, you know, I hadn't been painting for a while due to you know a few problems here and there, and uh, I had I had done my first painting in probably four years, a little tiny piece, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna. People always said to me, you know, I, I used to be an illustrator, so my work has always been relatively realistic. And um, they said to me, why don't you paint with big brushes now that you're, you know, coming back and try to paint again? So that's initially where that sky came from, because I thought I might as well be a little wild. But then, you know, you can't, you can't teach an, an old dog new tricks. <laughs> and it, sort of, it sort of immediately went into the old brawls. And I go like, well, I'll, you know, I guess I'm just going to make the best of it. So it was like a, a process that basically happened that wasn't totally planned. I, I started with the horizon line as uh, that was the only pencil that was involved. Whereas as an illustrator, I, I had very detailed pencil drawings and then basically painted on top of that. Uh, so this was basically started with nothing other than that horizon line. And I thought I might as well start with the sky because you know it has something to do with abstractionism who knows i make i can make those big brushes work but it didn't work and and i thought and and at, at the moment i got to the horizon line i thought you know this this had something to do with my vision and i thought maybe i'm seeing the light again so that's basically where where the where the bottom line lies for this piece and you work on it and you go like you know i can't really I don't really know how to do this other than what I do. And it just became, this, this easily could have been a 16 inch by 16 inch painting, you know? But it took a long time to, to do it. But I, I had such a wonderful time and I feel, you know, I was as happy as a clam painting this because I had never done anything so big and yet with relatively small brushes. And uh, so I, I rallied in it and uh, I have no idea where that comes from, as happy as a clam, but that's what I was when I was doing this. Well, it, it comes through. Juan, what did you, I mean, this is a tour de force. I mean, this is extraordinary, but what did, what did you, what hit you about this? Um, it's, the, it's, uh, it's, it's quite amazing, quite, quite deep and quite well resolved and the colors and the form and all of that but what i what i really like about it is the way how you deal with all the different mass and the way how what we would know as now when i'm looking at something I, i'm not i don't care if that's a sky or whatever it is it needs to work so it's not about it's not about um and i'm only saying that because because yes, there are elements that you can recognize there, but these elements are working together. Everything is working. All the masses are working. Where, you, where you're looking, how um, the way how the lines are taking you and where they're going and the ways how the forms in your sky would be repeating on, on the different planes. Uh, and the spacing between and the way how you are, you have these, um, 
you have these softer, softer uh, uh, space with with uh, uh, textures that are uh, uh, thicker textures and and everything's working and creating a really beautiful, nice, well resolved painting. The um, and it's interesting hearing what you're saying because. Because yes, I can see that the all of these elements, the way how they repeat, and when you go further up in the sky, then you're repeating again what's happening. This the same masses that are happening on the bottom part of it, and and those are things that uh, comes with uh, with a lot of um, maturity and understanding of what you're doing, uh, and. And those are things that, if anything, what I would want people to, uh, some of the artists that are younger or so are starting out to, to um, take away is that, is that um, there, there are more, more that is happening behind the scene or in something um, that is very important for it to work. It's not just the idea, it's how the idea is constructed. I mean, we're looking at paintings. We're not listening to to poetry or or, or music or something else. Yet yeah, every every uh, art form has a way to deal with things. In 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 paintings, we are looking at at the painting. So yeah, we have a great idea. Okay, resolve it. Make it work. Uh, make it work together. This this is in, incredible. Well done. Uh, well, thank, you so much, Juan. thank you, thank you. That's really, it's wonderful to hear someone else talk about your work because you really don't know when you're doing it, this is going to be successful or what, and you just keep working at it. And it, the, the love is involved and it makes you, it keeps you going. And it's just wonderful to get this kind of, res, you know, resolve for myself, but to hear someone else like you talk about, I know your work and I admire your work. And it's just okay. incredible to, to hear how wonderful you are in explaining things, you know, because I, 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 I can't do that as well as you do. It's just, uh, it's an incredibly <laughs> wonderful surprise and I feel honored to be chosen with the other people. I, I love, my work is so different than their work and it, but it was just so beautiful to see these pieces. And uh, I, I can see why they were amongst the six because it was just really beautiful, all of them. Yeah, it, it, it feels it feels wonderful to be part of it as a realist or semi-realist because I think it's sort of kind of naive what I do in a way. <laughs> but, but I'm so used to, I'm I'm so used to working from re reference when you when you're an illustrator you know you have to do something quick it has to be done in three days so everything is quick and you have to have reference and this is way before the internet so it was always photographs that you get from a place in New York that basically yeah. you call them up and you say, I need this. And you get a call back and say, well, we got 12 images for you. And that's how it worked in those days. But to sit on this painting, I mean, this probably took me, you know, close to three months. And, uh, and the funny thing is I never got tired of it. You yes. know, even though I knew that yeah. I had to finish it because I started it. So it has to have a finish. Yes. But I mean, yeah. this, this, wow. is crown, this is a crown for me that I cannot tell you how much that means to me to, to have this particular piece be awarded like it is. Yeah. You know? And it's wonderful to be part of this big group of people in this show. Well, thank That's so awesome, Brow. And I just, you know, just standing on the outside of this, looking in, um, of course, this work, this and, and, and what you're doing, I hope, I, I know it does, but more please this making this up leaving <laughs> going bigger all that this oh, is a huge you. doorway for you and i mean it's just like there's everyone here who's commenting leslie allen and um diane diamond his use of light is amazing you know all these people everyone's giving a thumbs up man if you you know like take the time make larger work it's really extraordinary so i just want to congratulate you on Thank an amazing so second place out of out of thousands of individual pieces of art that were looked so at it's, it's almost so, difficult for me to, to uh, react anything more but it's a, it's a great great honor to, <laughs> to, to be here you know awesome I, I never i never saw it coming let's put it that way 
<laughs> right. Next okay. Thing I'm like, 40 by 40, so I'm keeping it up. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we are going to go to the first place winner. Uh, she knows who she is, but you guys don't. So um, the first place uh, goes to Judy Woods. Uh, Judy, can you turn your camera on, please? Hi, Judy. Hi, Nick. <laughs> so are you surprised? I'm very A surprised. Little bit? This yeah. is amazing. Yeah. This is the oh, first place out of everything. Um, man, this this is such an amazing painting. Tell us about this piece. Uh, it's 45 inches by 45 inches, acrylic, collage, and mixed, mixed media. Um, you made it this year, obviously, but tell, tell us about it. It's amazing. Um, yeah, well, I made it in the summer, and um, we're in winter now, sort of the end of our winter. Yeah, um, you're in New Zealand, right? You're in New Zealand. Yeah, that's that right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I made it. Um, with a bunch of other ones as well. Um, and I just really, um, I mean, I, it, it just came through the process and I, I really loved that sort of bluey, lilac-y, purpley colour. And um, at the same time, you know, all the, our, we've got a big garden and we've got lots of hydrangeas and it was just sort of the, the same colour as one of the hydrangeas that we've got. And so it just kept speaking to me about this colour and the hydrangeas and, I don't know, it just developed and um, it was a hot mess for a while. And then um, it just, I sort of kept adding to it and, and eliminating things and covering things up. And then um, yeah, it became what it is. <laughs> it's got so much uh, complexity and variety and it, it reminds me of things. Juan, well, this is out of all the work you saw, this this piece stood out for you. You selected this as the first place. What what was it about this piece that that grabbed you and held your attention? I know that this was a huge decision for you. So what could you give us some insight? For me, this was the best composition of of all the work that I saw. Wow. It had clarity, complexity. It has, it has a resolution to all the different elements, all the different size, shape, colors, uh, everything is working. If you, if you basically, if you close your eyes and concentrate on only one element that you see, you will notice that that one element is balanced with other elements. The, the color, if you look at just this green, the way how the green is working. If you look at blue, you will see how it works. If you look at the background, you see how that is working. If you look at the dark parts, you will see how it's working together. It just comes together really well with a lot of things and, and, and basically simplify it in forms and shapes. And, um, and uh, amazing, amazingly done, amazing uh, piece. Uh, and the way how it moves, the way how it, it lays, it's, it's, it's incredible. I, I can't find, uh, you know, I, I, look, I look at things and I look for problems and I can't find any. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. I love that. You're right. We, you know, we try to like give criticism and then sometimes we're just taken over and the wonder of the thing we're looking at just, just knocks us off balance. And, and that's what I feel when I look at this piece. I'm just, I'm just delighted to be standing in front of it and, and go where all you're taking me. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Very well done. Yeah, thank you. And I love the repetition, these, these little shapes, the way uh, these, uh, these lines, a bunch of lines, these little ones. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I, I love the way how, how they're playing in here. And the whole thing has a slight inclination and, and the way how it's moving with the black. Now these, you take away those black areas and the painting really would be quite, um, it won't work. <laughs> it won't work yeah. well. It won't have had a way to stand out to, to bring everything. So, so that is the other thing. You take away certain things and then it just doesn't work. It needs every, everything that it has mm -hmm. to work. 
and that is the best composition. Right, there's nothing that could be taken away, yeah. Well, I started with that top, the top black bit at the very top was there right from the beginning. In fact, I think that's probably black gesso. And um, at the very end, I added the, the black on the, on the left-hand side. And that was almost the last thing that I did. And um, yeah, it's funny the way it, the beginning and the end is the same. <laughs> yeah, uh, without the black part, it will be kind of wobbling. Yeah, it won't. Yeah. Uh, it won't. Uh, it won't be able to sustain itself. It's still moving. It's moving towards, towards the the right, uh, because of those in, that inclination that it has, and the size of the of the black with a stronger black on the other side. Mm. I th I thought this was a really great comment. Um, Ian said, I love how the little green line at the bottom supports the entire piece so effortlessly. Um, bravo, Judy. You know, like it's, and, and I think there's something, it's almost like this little, that little green shapes holding this big, it, this is like this big square. You would think that this would just be kind of static, but at first blush, it's just, it's just this sort of central composition, but there's so much movement in it and it just, it defies things. But I think that little green shape propping it up and it just feels like it's all in movement. And I think that that's pretty hard to do, especially with a composition, which is just really, you know, we're just, it's just flat and it's central. Um, but all your line work, it's, it's just great. Thank you. Yeah, I love, I love drawing, um, you know, using, when I finish a painting session, I just go in with um, oil sticks and pastels and pencils and just draw all over the whole thing. And that, then when I come back, I cover that up, but I just love having those edges where you've got paint next to um, the drawing. You know, that, um, mm -hmm. that really sort of excites me, yeah. One, one other thing, uh, this was not the only piece. The other pieces did the same, the same thing too. They were a little bit different and still the composition were quite solid. And mm -hmm. that okay. also contributed to the, the fact that it's not just, uh, it didn't just happen by accident. And those kind of repetitions, it doesn't happen in, in uh, it, it's not an accident. There's no accident in that. Um, uh, that is that is quite well um, well done. Well uh, taking the work beyond just just the feeling of it. You are taking that uh, the all the ideas and how they're working further further beyond um, beyond the normal beyond the. Uh, the casual beyond the beyond beyond the accident. Yeah, yeah. Well okay. said. It's uh, it's so isn't it in cool, Judy, to like hear. Um, oh, I know. You know, how does it feel? How does it feel to hear somebody talk about your work? Obviously, a newcomer to it, but in a, yeah. in ways that connect with you. I mean, what how, what are you feeling when you're hearing these words? Is it resonating for you? Oh no, absolutely. You know, I it's so. Um, it's just wonderful actually to hear somebody who's very knowledgeable and who's got a, a wealth of you know great background in art and and assessing art and looking at it and looking you know Juan's looked at a whole heap of art in his life that you know I haven't mm -hmm. and um, to hear her, his his views it is it's very affirming and um, and it. Um, yeah, I just, it's great. It really is. It's, um, it puts you on solid ground. It makes you feel like um, your next step is you can trust your own intuition. You know, it's mm -hmm. very, um, very affirming. Yeah, it's fantastic. Thank you, Juan. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Um, well, congratulations, Judy. Uh, this is Thank a you. huge honor. And um, it is. Yeah. we're really excited to, uh, to see all the new things you'll be making. I hope this fires you up more than you. I know you're always fired up, but um, <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to this is going to really do it. Yeah, um, no, it's fantastic. Thank you, Nick. And thank you. Yeah. And thank you for 
organizing this is just absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, there you have it, you guys. Now, there's some special things we still have to do. We have not actually opened up the website, um, but there's some surprising news. And I'm going to let uh, Juan <laughs> uh, share with us um, what just happened recently. And um, this is pretty extraordinary. And by the way, this has never happened in any of our exhibitions. Um, this is a huge deal. Juan, let, what, what, what are you thinking here? Well, um, we this year in the gallery, we have uh, we have a, um, a figurative exhibition and uh, uh, an uh, abstraction ex exhibition and that is in October and November and uh, it's an invitational exhibition uh, it's very exclusive in the sense that we uh, we get um, these are some artists from around the world that participate in this and there are just few that fit into what we want and um, and there's going to be a catalog and all of these things and a lot of uh, a lot of promotion and so and we are extending the uh, uh, invitation to the first second and third place of the competition to participate in these exhibitions wow uh, that's just uh that's just amazing um and and just so generous but i know that you know uh, amazing work is is what that is what your gallery uh, shows and and this is amazing work. But just to just to offer that to uh, the artists that have you know these three artists, that's just an amazing amazing opportunity. So I just I know <laughs> uh, you know they're gonna thank you, but I want to thank you as as a person who's interested in helping people gain a foothold and push their work getting an opportunity to show in your gallery to get that exposure is ginormous so um thank you for that right yeah people are uh, definitely uh appreciating that on um on facebook uh julia sings that's so exciting um so cool so whoops hit my screen there um okay so any any thoughts as we wrap this up and i'm about to turn on this exhibition well let me i have a couple thought a couple things to say first of all this works for sale you guys and many of you who are here um are buyers of art and and i you know this is a wonderful opportunity to get this work um this is this is curated this work there's approximately 50 artists that are in this exhibition which i'm about to turn on as well as these six winners um so uh definitely check this out um we will be promoting this heavily this exhibition for the next few weeks and then throughout the year you guys um if you're in this exhibition we are constantly sharing your work on our social media on art to life social channels um we sell the work i mean we don't sell it but we are apprised that it's sold so if your work sells please let us know we like to keep track of it we sold um of of the ones we know we sold about seven or eight of the pieces last year people sold it right from the exhibition i'm pretty sure that there's going to be more than that this year we're really wanting to sell your work for you guys so let us know um it gives us uh, a lot of um it encourages us to keep promoting when we hear that a piece was sold. So those artists let us know so we can put a red dot on, on it, on the site. Um, uh, Terry or anybody, is there anything else that I need to share before um, turning this site on? Um, any other announcements? Um, uh, I think I got it all. I think you got it all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, let's turn this on. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this website on right now and you guys uh can check this out and you will see who who is in this show who got in and it's just an amazing show Juan, you did an incredible job this uh exhibition thank you thank you so how was this i'm just curious as um ferris gets this going how is on. this different i mean you're you're Oh, good. How is this? Um, so the, the exhibition is live, um, Ferris, and I'm sure my team is putting links into that um, to go see it. But I'm just curious, Juan, um, how is this different or is it different from, you know, you have shows in your gallery and you're curating, you know, different group shows simultaneously. How was this different? 
um, quite different. Uh, 45,000 uh, paintings. <laughs> That's quite a bit. And there are so many <laughs> paintings, but at the same time, I mean, what, what I, uh, if there's something I ache a little bit for is that there's so many work that I couldn't put in. Uh, that I wanted to, but I want I needed that that little group that would work that works well and and all of that and and you know for the guys that didn't make it it doesn't mean that the work anything is wrong with it it just didn't make it in this forty five thousand uh, paintings is just uh, quite yeah. Um, and 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 there was different. There's not just paintings. You know, there was some other um, other work as well. Um, you know, but it's yes, you you kept yes. it very concise. I mean, you guys. He chose the number for the exhibition. You know, it could have been thirty. It could have been eighty. You know, but fifty um, uh, is is you know it's a, it's a beautiful work. It's a it's a gorgeous exhibition. But that was uh, your decision, and and that had to do with it. You know how you wanted yeah, to present yeah. it. Um, be, um, yeah, the, the exhibition has to uh, be, it has to work and, and, and that, that, is a, that was a good number, a good amount, and I did my best to get everybody in <laughs> that could. <laughs> C'est la vie. Uh, well, it's listen, it's, it's, just, it's just amazing. Juan, your generosity with this and spending the time with us, helping us, and you're just so darn articulate about this whole, like looking at pictures. You're, it's, it's, uh, I've, I've learned so much just sitting here, and, and I, I think I'm speaking for a lot of people. Um, your exhibitions, we will, um, we will be sending a recording of this call out, but you know, we're going to kind of promote your show now, obviously, because it's going to have Art to Life uh, members in it. But again, those shows are going to, do you have openings for those yet? I mean, you said October, September, or is this something we're going to have to update people on? Uh, no, it's, it, one is in October and the other okay. in, in November. Uh, oh, in November. Okay. It, one is, I think, it, uh, October 22nd. And the okay. Other, I don't remember. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, it's in November, but we will let you guys. And if for those of you who are who are in Santa Fe, go see New Art Gallery. It's amazing if you can attend those shows to visit the winners and see them in person. Um, please do so. I just want to say thank you to everybody. My team especially for making this all possible this is a huge effort terry especially for organizing this brainstorming this and just just it's just been incredible so hey thank i just you. wanted to say i have one thank you i just want to say one thing because um one, you said that there were 45,000 pieces in, but he meant 4,500. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> everybody's like 45,000. So I just want yeah, to kind no, of just no, clarify no. that so that everybody knew. But uh, yeah, okay. thank you. Yeah. Like, thank you for yeah. allowing us to put this together and one. Yeah. For, like, seriously, it's just been fantastic. serving it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, it's an hour, a little over an hour. Keep, keep connected with us. Let us know your thoughts. Um, I've been loved reading the comments here. Um, it's just really, really fun to do this. And um, can't wait till next year. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and for the first, second, and third place people, we're going to reach out to you. So just um, with details of when the shows and stuff are. So yeah. and we'll yeah. let you yeah. guys in our community as well know um, when Juan will have these shows. We have the dates and everything. So um, yeah. you guys will know. So that's okay. what I wanted to add. Awesome. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Thanks Thank so you, much Juan. for being here. Thanks, Juan. Thank